good folks of uh, the Vodafone, formerly Vodafone Call Centre. It is great to be down here with you today, uh, just to share in a few moments of uh, uh, celebration with you, which I'm sure it's been a celebration uh, for the morning for you. And can I say what a spectacularly beautiful, I was going to say spring day, I know it's still winter, but let's call it spring. What a spectacularly beautiful spring day in Tasmania. A great day for Tasmania uh, and a great day um, for Tasmanian jobs uh, because not only are the 400 jobs here uh, going to be retained uh, but uh, expanded upon and I understand another 100 jobs uh, added here as well which I'm sure you'll be able to uh, accommodate uh, and I'm sure that the excellent rep reputation, genuinely excellent reputation that this call centre and this workforce have right throughout Tasmania but also right throughout uh, the nation will uh, continue for uh, many, many years to come and that means your jobs will continue for many, many years to come and that's great news for everyone. Uh, two Thursdays ago, it's Thursday today, two Thursdays ago, um, Tasmania, uh, it was a historic day for Tasmania and so it's great to be here celebrating with you a fortnight later because two fort, uh, a fortnight ago, Tasmania, for the first time ever in history, had the best unemployment rate of any state in Australia, leading the nation. And it's the sort of work that you're doing here and the sort of work uh, that this company is clearly wanting to invest in, the skills and abilities and talents that this workforce have, uh, that is making that happen. So we've been, as a government, really thrilled uh, to be working with the company and I congratulate them because they've been open and uh, wanting to negotiate and we feel like we've put together a, uh, a really good package uh, that has added to um, the great work that you've done uh, to secure these jobs. And really today uh, is all about you, uh, it is all about your skills and your abilities and the great work that you do that have secured 500 jobs for Tasmania. So congratulations to you. and also a member for Franklin. I'm delighted to be joined here too with Ross Butler and also Daniel Hume, who are other members of Franklin, to join with you and celebrate what is a significant day for you, particularly since I understand it's been some months since February of this year that you've had that level of uncertainty hanging over you as to whether or not your jobs would be secure or whether you'd be joining, unfortunately, your colleagues in other states who are less uh, happy, I'm afraid, about their futures. But it is really fantastic for Tasmania that we have been able to secure this establishment here and your jobs. And as David said, so much of that does come down to the brilliant reputation that you have. I've often heard about uh, this particular contact centre and how stable the workforce is here and how you still have employees here who began the very day that the doors opened down here at... Uh, <laughs> here we go, one in the front row, that's fantastic. So that's a credit to uh, the company that uh, did have this establishment. I'm sure it will go even further with the new ownership, but it's also real credit to all of you who've worked here and have uh, stuck by this contact centre. So I wish you well in your coming years and uh, I'm so pleased that we're able to provide you or help provide you with that security of employment, particularly in the tough times that we're seeing globally and around Australia and here in Tasmania. So congratulations and thank you, Greg, for coming down interstate to be part of it today as well. 